Welcome to this Cadence Whiteboard Wednesday. I am Pushkar Patwardhan, DSP Software Architect at Cadence. And today, we are going to talk about floating point computations uh, in DSP applications. Uh, when we talk about floating point support in processors, in the past, floating point support was usually on uh, high-end processors like CPUs and GPUs. Uh, but recently, things have changed, and floating point support is everywhere, including embedded DSPs, uh, which at, in low-end compute applications to high-end compute applications. And in fact, DSPs uh, these days need both fixed point support and floating point support, where floating point is used for uh, those algorithms where floating point is needed in terms of uh, numerical requirements. Let's take a look at some, uh, some application areas where uh, floating point algorithms are, are needed uh, in, in DSP applications. So, so, we, so, so looking at the application space, uh, in mobile and wireless space, algorithms uh, which do uh, indoor positioning or which, which do sensor fusion, they need typically Kalman filters and Kalman filter algorithms uh, are best done using floating point. So Kalman filter algorithms best done in floating point. In audio and speech application space, uh, for, for algorithms for room and loudspeaker equalization, IIR filters are very commonly used, and IIR filters are best done in floating point. In radar applications, in ADAS or other radar applications, the direction of arrival estimation algorithms, for example, algorithms like music, are best done in floating point. In wireless communications, Multi-antenna processing algorithms, the so-called MIMO algorithms, are best done in floating point. And in vision, algorithms for uh, vision SLAM, simultaneous localization and mapping, uh, use Kalman filters a lot, again, with relatively larger state matrices compared to the variable applications, but still Kalman filters uh, best done uh, using floating point. So, so we see in, a, in the application space ranging from, from mobile and variables, which is low to moderate compute, all the way to wireless communications and vision, which is very high compute, algorithms, there are algorithms required which need floating point computations. So for implementing these algorithms, that the DSPs that are needed, they need to have a floating point support, and in terms of the available horse, compute horsepower, uh, the, the DSPs have to span from DSPs with relatively low to moderate compute for, uh, for the space which needs that type of computing, whereas high compute needs for the spaces which needs high compute. So, 10 silica DSPs have support for floating point uh, across the range of the DSPs for all spaces. And in a next Whiteboard Wednesday video, we will take a look at the 10 silica DSPs and the floating point support in them. Thanks for watching. See you next time.